Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be sharing my daily self-care routine that keeps me balanced and stress-free. Stick around for simple habits that can boost your energy and make a big difference. Starting off, I'll always make my bed. It's a small but powerful act that sets a positive tone for the day ahead. Then, it's time for skincare. This is my little moment of me time in the morning. Nothing crazy, just a simple routine to feel fresh and awake. Also, don't forget to put on sunscreen to protect your skin and keep it healthy. I always start my day with a glass of water. Staying hydrated first thing is a must for me. It really helps me to detox the toxins that has built up overnight from eating and helps with my digestive system. For breakfast today, I'm making green onion toast with of course the main ingredient, green onions, eggs, milk and cherry tomato. It is something healthy, easy to make, and filling to keep me going through the morning. Here's the final look. I added honey to give it a little bit of sweetness. This is super easy to make and it tastes so good. After a good breakfast, I took some time to wash my makeup brushes. If you haven't cleaned yours, this is a sign for you to get it washed. Having clean brushes is essential to help you achieve a smooth and flawless look. Therefore, it's important to keep them as clean as possible.
Taking care of your nails is essential for good hygiene and I'm using a nail oil to strengthen them and keep them from becoming brittle. Before diving into work, I always tidy up my desk. There's something about a clean space that helps me to stay focused and on track. Reading has become a daily essential for me, helping to sharpen the mind and encourage self-improvement. Sometimes, it's refreshing to take a break and get lost in a good book. This book right here. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book is so insightful. It really teaches you on how to build good habits or how tiny habits can actually change your life. I was reading The Downside of Creating Good Habits. This is the final chapter. Basically, what it talks about is we stop paying attention to like little errors because we're being so comfortable with the current situation we do it without thinking and that we have to always reflect and review so that we can become better oh and also it talks about how the title we cling to an identity if we don't fulfill it we will then be disappointed in ourselves and therefore it's harder for us to grow beyond it for example if you are vegan and you're trying to develop like a health condition that forces you to change your diet then um, you will have an identity crisis on your hands and basically when you cling too tightly on to one identity you become brittle and you lose that one thing and you lose yourself so instead of cling to that identity, you can redefine yourself. So let's say for example, if you are a business owner, you know, and you are no longer working, you spent most of your waking moment trying to, to build your business. And what comes after, after you sell the business? So how you can redefine yourself is that you can actually think that you are a person who builds and creates things. But the message of this is to try not to cling onto an identity. Recently, I started learning something new and signed up for a free course on content marketing. I'm really enjoying it and I'm taking down notes on what I've learned. Building new skills is super important because it helps you to grow and open up new opportunities. This is my outfit. It is currently 4.55 p.m. and I'm going to walk out. Most likely I'm just going to go for a walk. You know? And yes, I will see you guys later.
it's too much. Yes. Let me share with you some of my favorite products as well. So first of all is this toner from Kiehl's. This is the Calendula toner. This helps to soothe my skin. I'm almost done with this bottle. And this one dries really quickly on the skin as well. I'm also finishing with this Estee Lauder Micro Essence. This one really helps to hydrate my skin and also Repair, yes. Yeah. Serum, um, usually during the night time, I would layer two serums. And the first serum I'm gonna use today is the Gentle A Retinol. This is a renewal serum. This one is supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles. Sorry, I'm very racist, so it's a bit hard to talk. This is from the original. It is supposed to help with irritated skin. I'll do like two pumps. Okay, so next, I use this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. This is my go-to eye cream, and it's supposed to help with dark circles, fine lines. I really love this eye cream because I can really see a difference in my dark circles when I don't apply them. To finish it off, I'm using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Cream and this is supposed to repair the skin and it smells like peach and so this is my nighttime skincare routine I'm gonna blow dry my hair right now This was done in 2021, which is about three years ago. And then these are like my old drawings. I can't remember when it was, but I was just doodling for fun. And then this is a cafe. Before bed, I like to take a break from my phone and spend some time drawing and journaling. It has helped me to reduce stress and clear my mind. If you feel overwhelmed or find talking things out doesn't help, I recommend giving journaling a shot. It's a great way to reflect and get ready for a fresh start tomorrow. That's how I balance my day with the simple self-care moments that keep me feeling good and happy. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other ones I've made and I'll see you in the next one.